will say that we will uh, go into every single crevice to make sure that there's uh, not something that we, we miss. Suffolk County Police Commissioner Rodney Harrison consulting with members of his Gilgo Beach Task Force outside the home of serial killer suspect Rex Hewerman as backhoes were at work in the backyard along with ground penetrating radar. It is uh, a different type of technology but it will help us uh, be able to identify anything in that backyard that we need to uh, uh, take into our possession. Local residents took cell phone videos of the operation. I'm glad that they're finally digging up the dirt. Don't really want them to find nothing, but I feel like it's going to be more evidence. All these helicopters have been out all morning. Just I hear them from down the street. I mean, how long does it take to search a serial killer's house? Commissioner Harrison confirmed the Suffolk County Medical Examiner's Office was on the scene. We asked if any Gilgo victim was killed inside Hewerman's house. I can't confirm anything about anybody's ever being inside this house at this time. And there were questions about the green Chevy Avalanche that used to be parked outside Rex Ewerman's house some years ago. It became key to solving the case. But a source told us other suspects were being focused on early in the investigation. Rex Ewerman has been the target for the last year. This person has been at large for a long period of time. Um, but I, I will say this, we're going to, and you've heard me say this before, we'll keep the task force together, we'll keep it intact. And uh, we'll uh, see if there's any other victims over on Ocean Parkway or anywhere else uh, throughout, uh, throughout Long Island. Police said they still don't have answers about the six other sets of remains discovered after the Gilgo Four. The torso of one woman with a peaches tattoo had been found in 1997 in Hempstead Lake State Park, with her limbs turning up during a search on Ocean Parkway in 2011. Jessica Taylor's torso was found in Manorville in 2003. Her hands and skull discovered in 2011 on the parkway. Valerie Mack's torso was in the Manorville woods in 2000, but her limbs weren't found until 2011, also along Ocean Parkway. Police aren't sure if Hewerman or another suspect they're looking at is behind these gruesome crimes. But the dig in Ewerman's backyard has neighbors spooked. It's all scary no matter what, and the excavator out there is, says something else. You know, it's, it's definitely scary.